let's go back to Saturday. Divisional round recap continues. The Packers uh, somehow lost to the Niners. Honestly, <laughs> it's really wild. It felt like this was just in their lap for most of the game. So. They should have won. They should have won this game. All I kept thinking of watching this, I was so frustrated. I was super annoyed because I wanted the Packers to win. Can I, can I tell you why I wanted the Packers? And listen, the Niners are a great team. They're a great team, and uh, I think they're the second best team in the NFL after the Ravens. Like, you know, and they're an unbelievable team. But I was rooting against them for one very selfish reason. And here's the selfish reason. I have a friend that's a Niners fan, and I feel like, <laughs> and I feel like that if the Niners win, um, that friend is going to be out in Las Vegas or the Super Bowl and is going to be hitting me up, like, get me into parties and all this kind right. of stuff. Right. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I, like, I got my wife coming out. Like, I got you animals at yeah. Super Bowl week. I got a lot already we, to deal we with. We have some work to do. I've got way. some work to do, like, and I can't deal with – Requests. Yeah, requests. Yeah, and I know my, I know that I know my friend will be out there if the Niners go to the Super Bowl. If the Niners don't, my friend won't be. And so well, I was reading for the, I was right for the now, Packers. The and honestly, I, I also thought, by the way, I thought it's always fun to root for an underdog. I thought the Packers were the better team. Oh, I definitely. thought the Packers deserved to win that game. All I kept thinking about as soon as that game was over that they somehow lost that game was they thought about the Dennis Green rant. You remember Dennis Green, the legendary Vikings head coach? Stephen, play the sound. This is from a, a long time ago, but this will be familiar to you. This is all I kept thinking about. What, what, what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bull? We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> One of the all-time great the press conference rants the ever. Best. They are who we thought we are, and we let them off the hook. And that's how I have to feel like if you're Matt LaFleur. Yeah. That you, oh, by the way, the best part of that is just, thanks, Coach, and he leaves. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's the, the, everyone's like stunned into silence and some, like, some <laughs> reporter. There's no uh, follow-up to Thanks, that. Coach. Uh, it's, just like, it's like good. But that's... The Niners, they are who we thought they were, and we let them off the hook. If you're the Packers, that's how you have to feel. Yeah, it was a tough one. Uh, I mean, the Pur Purdy for the first three quarters, he was on a he different was planet. He was horrific. Credit to him, though. He got it together at the end, and they drove down, and it was Love who made the, the crippling mistakes. But, so Matthew, I actually, I watched this game with, with Connor Rogers. You were in Detroit. You couldn't come. Sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You're, out, you're yeah. out of the state. You're not going to change your plans. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no. I'm not. But what you here's your mistake. <laughs> yeah. You should have you should have texted all three of us. Hey guys, let's get together to watch the game. Yeah. Which which I would have said, I, I can't. I'm going to Detroit. And you're like, ah, oh, well we'll raise one for you. Knowing all well, you should have been like, I know Barry's not coming, but this way I get the credit. It's like when you yeah. invite. I got an invitation to a wedding this weekend. Mm. And it's in Poland. I swear to God. It's a tough trip, right? Very right. does and, crack right. out. And that's that's what like they know I'm not coming to Poland, but now I'm on the hook for a, a gift. Yes. Right. Ah, that's yeah. what it is. It's very yeah, smart. Yeah, it's the people that invited me, they're like, play. Barry's not coming. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, let's let's hit him up for an effing gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's not cheap. That's He'll like, hey, we're gonna like you know we'll send him the expensive gift. You know the the expensive list, the registry. Yes. So, you're not getting the toaster. No, yeah. of course not. So that's very smart by them, and that's yeah. what you should have done. It's because I would have been like you. Have gotten credit for inviting me without actually worrying, have any concern about me having to spend time with you out of the, you know, out of yep. what you're contractually obligated to do. Yep. I'll keep that in mind if there's an occasion in Vegas, perhaps, <laughs> where I can know you have fake invite, Matthew. Uh, but no, uh, Connor and I were watching the game together without you, and I was stunned, Connor, by your confidence. Because when, when, so Anders Carlson, he misses the field goal. Nine He's brutal. Got, nine has got the ball back, and the, the line in the market, it's pick. It's pick at yeah. that point, because they're, what, they're down four, and so they need to score a touchdown. And you were completely convinced that we were going to do it. I sent out a couple beers live bet, pretty <laughs> yeah. hardcore. Yeah, like, ah, I've never been more sure that I was winning this game at that moment. It was minus 104. Yeah. I was like, this is robbery, Yeah. which is not a smart thing to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not a smart thing to say, but eh, yeah. worked and, out. And they delivered. And it was never really on doubt. There was no, no? The only incompletion on, was Kittle's bad drop. Uh, and outside of that, it was like the anti-Josh Allen, where Purdy was terrible for three quarters and then brilliant at the end as opposed to Allen who was magnificent for three and a half and then just couldn't get it done but I think my theory is that people are thinking like oh the Niners you know they're not going to win the Super Bowl because they just what they showed I think that it's the other way and it's more like 
this team got its bad one out of the way. Mm. And there is clearly just something about Purdy in the rain because his two worst games outside of the Baltimore game were in the rain against Cleveland and against back. It just seems like he can't grip the ball. can throw a swing pass. It's so bizarre. Yeah. yeah. And I but think that they will be better be, for It's that. supposed to be great weather on Sunday. Yep. Uh, and then Super Bowl's in a dome. Exactly. So uh, so I'm with you, by the way. I, I completely subscribe to that theory that, like, the chance to get them out was that was the chance, yeah. and the Packers blew it. Like yep. they will not be. I, I, I would love to see the Lions in the Super Bowl. Just yep. be a great story. They're so much awesome. fun. Dan Campbell's press conference. It's like you know, I'm on Rod's my ride or die. Love, love, love for the Lions. But I think I think the Niners win this game, and I, I think it's probably not that close. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong. Please, uh, I'm rooting legitimate for the Lions. One pride. But uh, I will say that yeah, they got. Because, like, everything that could have gone wrong for them did. Not only was Purdy bad, Savage drops. That, that interception no. drop. Like, that's, a, that's hand, awful. Right in his hand. It's, it's, right, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a pick six. That's a, that's a game changer. They don't make that play. They don't get the – they don't get with, – on the first drive, they get down to the 10-yard line. It's third and one on the 10 or whatever, the 11. They don't get the first down. I thought they got completely screwed by the spot. You know what I mean? I actually thought Jordan Love got the first down on fourth down. But still, like, you can't have that drive – and not come away with points against the 49ers. Three times they went into the red zone, the Packers, and they scored six points from three occasions of the red zone. Like you, can't, you can't, can't beat San Francisco. Way. They almost did beat San Francisco yeah. despite that. And they should have. Yeah. Right. But, but, like, just, you know, just, yeah, and that was a that was a tough pick. You know, that like, you feel bad for Jordan Love because he, he was so brilliant for so long. But, like, again, just he didn't need to make the hero throw. It's only second down. Like, he had other guys lower, the, you know, just – but yeah, the, their offensive line just you know mostly got uh, mostly got dominated. Uh, the the big key here will be interesting is friend of the podcast, two time friend of the mm. podcast, Debo Samuel. Current friend. Yeah, long. I mean, like best friends. Yes. Like you know, like it's like it's him or Lawrence Jackson who's on the show more. <laughs> um, Debo Samuel. It's close. Uh, it it is close. They don't know if they're gonna have Debo. No, exited the game early due to a shoulder injury. George Kittle, after the game on the injury, said, am I concerned about him not playing next week? Yeah, we're a different team without Debo. And Kyle Shanahan spoke, uh, of course, after the game on it. A little vague, but he did speak on Debo's injury going forward. Uh, the severity of Debo's? Um, I don't know yet. I mean, it's, um, he tried to come back, couldn't do it. Uh, I know he did something similar versus Cleveland, so um, we'll, we'll see tomorrow. Just when Debo went out early, how does that change things for you on the offense? Um, it it changes a lot of stuff. I mean, especially when you, when you have wristbands and things like that, and um, you know, you just got to switch some guys around, which is always a challenge for those guys. It happened during the Cleveland game, and we didn't handle it that well. I uh, thought we handled it better today than we did then, but it is a huge challenge. I mean, it's. Um, I mean, Debo's obviously one of our better players, but he also is a unique guy that goes to some certain spots. So you gotta, you gotta be adjusting that all game. By the way, the three games that Debo missed earlier in the season, Brock Purdy averaged under 250 passing yards a game, had just two touchdowns and five interceptions over those three weeks. They lost all three games. Now, I think it's worth noting Trent Williams also missed time, and like that's a mat. I, mean, I don't think people understand right. what a massive loss. That is, and they'll have Trent Williams on Sunday. And Purdy's still, cost as well. As yes. as Everything was wrong for yeah. them there. But yep. still, if they can't have uh, Debo Samuel, that is a loss. Packers side of the ball, obviously a crushing loss. I think they should cut Anders Carlson. They need a new kicker next year. But the future is very bright for Aaron jo uh, for Jordan Love. We'll see if Aaron Jones comes back. The expectation is he will. But you think about just this entire Romeo Dobbs and Dontavian Wicks and Jaden Reed and Christian Watson and, like, Musgrave and Kraft. Like, there's – You've got to be really excited about the, the direction of the Packers if I'm a Green Bay fan. Very bright future. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully, to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.